this is the shaft for the the PMA and this hub spacer goes on here like this occasionally people put it on backwards this is wrong do not put these on backwards when you tighten them they will rub and they will stop the PMA from turning so they go on this way the blades go on like that then the nut and then we usually use an impact wrench to put it together. I want to make it too tight because you'll strip these little threads in here. And let's show it coming apart. Comes apart like that. So, and you got to remember this spacer fits like this. Do not put it on backwards, that's wrong. Must go on with the small side into the bearing. Now, the blade has this little dimple and in the instructions, there's a little dimple in between the mounting holes. In the instructions we say, put the dimple towards the hub. Well, a lot of people do that, but then they put the hub on backwards. This dimple must be facing towards the PMA. And if you've ever looked at one of these blades edge on, there is a round side and a flat side. And the flat side goes towards the wind. The round side goes towards the PMA. You have to look at them like this down the length. Okay, we're going to put the blades on backwards. So technically, you've done it correctly. You've put the dimple in towards the hub, but now you've got the hub on backwards. There are people doing this mistake also. So this is wrong. Avoid doing this. We'll show it one more time going on the correct way. So again, spacer small side facing the PMA then the hub with the blade handles towards the windward side and then we're going to tighten it on with an impact wrench you can do this with a allen key and socket but the impact works a little nicer